Hey, this is Sugar Daddy, and I'm here with a brief tutorial on how you can convert Google Map directions into GPX files that you can then download onto a GPS unit to use while you're motorcycling. Stick around. <laughs> So the things you're going to need for this are, first of all, obviously a computer of some sort. You're also going to need a GPS unit that either has an expandable internal memory or, in the case of this one, this is a, GP, a Garmin GPS Map 78, a GPS unit that you can, that has a micro SD card or an SD card that you can then download files onto and then load into the GPS. You're also going to need some kind of card reader if your computer does not have one, mine does not. So I have this external card reader. And those are pretty much the three things that you're going to need in addition to your laptop or computer or whatever in order to get this thing going. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do for this tutorial is to go to this website here on your browser, gpsvisualizer.com. Go ahead and click on that, open it up, and this is what you're going to get. GPS visualizer do-it-yourself mapping. Now what we're going to need when we get to this point is going to be this down here convert to GPX but first we need to get our directions where we want to start where we want to go. So open up your Google Maps and I've already done that obviously and I have here directions from my hometown Winston-Salem North Carolina to Damascus Virginia which is the start or thereabouts of the mid-Atlantic backcountry discovery route. Once you've gotten your start point and your end point and you've chosen all of your options for Google Maps, I generally choose um, avoid highways and avoid tolls, uh, but you know, your preferences may, may differ. What you're going to get is not only your directions, but what you're gonna, your visual directions, your map of it. You're going to get up here in the address bar, you're going to get this ridiculously long address. This address in the address bar, this is actually the file that you need. So what you want to do, left click on it, highlight the whole thing, right click on it, come down and copy that address. Once you've copied this address, you're done with Google Maps. You can close that out and go back to gpsvisualizer.com. Now, at this point, we're going to go to the convert to GPX. Just go ahead and click on it and you're going to get this screen that comes up convert a GPS file to plain text or GPX inside of this gray box you'll have your output format you'll have a place to upload your files or paste your data and down here about halfway down a little bit further than halfway down you'll get or provide the URL of a file on the web that URL is the address bar that we had or the address that we took out of that address bar for Google Maps let me go ahead and click on that right click on it I'm gonna paste my address into there and you can see here underneath that I get your Google API key that already pops up for me but I'm gonna show you I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna show you how to get one if you don't already have the Google API key uh, so once you put that address in here in the URL space go ahead and click convert just to see what happens and you'll get this pop-up gpsvisualizer.com says Due to dramatic reductions in Google quotas, you can no longer do this. So, great. We're going to click OK. And they're going to show you exactly what you need to do, which is go down here again to the Google API key slot and click on the question mark. Right click on it, as I like to open just links and new tabs. And then I can go to that page and I can follow their directions, which is basically what we're going to be doing from this point on go to this website cloud.google.com slash maps dash platform again I'm going to right click open link a new tab and what you're going to want to do is sign in if you're not already signed into a Google account I already am signed in this is what I get Google Maps platform I'm going to go ahead and click get started right here I click get started and it takes me to the next page now I can click back and forth to GPS visualizer because I left it open Click Get Started when you're prompted to select a product, select Maps and Routes. This is for the first time if you've ever done it. You don't really need to enter a project name. I never have. Um, and from that point, we can just follow this. Now, this is what you're going to get once you click Get Started. You're going to get this uh, dashboard, this menu on the left, overview, APIs, metrics, quotas, credentials, support, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, the first time you do this, you might have to enter in credit card information. You don't get charged. Down here you can see my billing. Um, because their quota is so high, uh, I'm, I've never gone over it. I'm not doing this commercially. It's just every now and then just to get the direction. So I don't really have to worry about that. It's just in case you do, so they do have your information. And what you can do next, go here to APIs. Click on that because what's going to happen is you'll get this. I've already enabled Directions API and Maps JavaScript API. To start with, these are not going to be enabled, these two. They're going to be down here in the list of APIs. All you've got to do is basically just click on them and click Enable, and then they pop up here. If you don't do that, you'll get another pop-up that says these two need to be enabled. So I've already done that, obviously, because I've been on here before. So I'm done with this. I can go down here to Credentials. I click on Credentials and I get at the top these are all the ones I've created before all these are pretty much just from trying to do this one video <laughs> uh, right here at the top I get to do all credentials or create new credentials visit credentials and API's and services great I can just click on it it's right there and then the next page I get is this credentials and at the top I get create credentials here so I'm gonna go ahead and click on create credentials and I get a drop down API key OAuth client ID or service account or help me choose but we need API keys so what I do then you just click on API key it's creating it and there you go this is what you need for GPS visualizer for the website this API key here left click on it and then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to copy it and I can close it and now I am done with the Google Maps platform I can close this out I can actually close this screen out because I've followed their instructions and I can go down here now to where I originally uploaded my URL I can go down to your Google API key I can click on that and I can paste my new Google API key that I got once I've done this then I click convert and GPS visualizer will start working to convert my maps directions to a GPX file and it's done your data has been converted to GPX and what I like to do first here is go down underneath this text box to map this data and you can choose leaflet Google Maps Google Earth etc I like to choose Google Maps go ahead right click that open link a new tab obviously and if we go back up GPS visualizer will show us the map of our directions and there you go you're starting in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and you're headed up to Damascus. These are your directions. Uh, just make sure that everything looks okay. If it is, then you can close this. And you can go right here to click to download, right above where they want you to give them some money. I'm going to go ahead and click to download, and it's downloaded onto my computer. Just like that. Then I can go to my file explorer, and I can find my download, my directions, and here it is right here at the top today. Uh, my suggestion to you, just like I've done with this first one here, is just rename these. And just click on the name, and I would rename it something like, uh, something that you can identify once you've uploaded it to your GPS. So for this one, I'll do it again. Like I did the bottom one, went to Salem, North Carolina to Damascus, VA, and we'll just put a two behind it just so it doesn't avoid, so we can avoid conflict. And that's our file that we created. That is our GPX file that we can now put onto our Garmin or our uh, GPS unit. So what I have here now is my removable disk E, which is the micro SD card out of my Garmin. It's already open, and you can see that underneath that I've got a Garmin folder. I click on this arrow here I can see again what you need to do for your garment for a GPS unit to read or for a Garmin unit rather in particular to read this GPX file is you have to create a GPX folder subfolder under the Garmin folder once you've done that if I open up this GPX folder you can see I've already got the directions in here from earlier where I've done it so I can go back up and go to what I have it under. No, I don't know where I went. It was uh, <laughs> wherever it was. Where was it? It was a download, wasn't it? Okay. So I can go back to my downloads. 
and I can pick my directions and I can drag those and I want to drag them into that GPX folder and just drop them off right there just like dropping the kids off at the pool right so once I've done that I can go back to the GPX folder to make sure that they're both in here here's the original one I did and here's the one I just loaded up one still in North Carolina to Damascus and now I can close my Explorer file Explorer and what I want to do is come down and I want to eject my hardware which is this one right here once I've done that I can then take that micro SD card and I can load it back into my GPS unit and go from there and I can find that track on my GPS unit and then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and put your micro SD card back in you replace your batteries you can save the time just to make sure you don't need to put the back on just yet you can power the unit on we've already checked to make sure that that track is on the card so we know it's on there we just have to check to make sure that it shows up on our GPS unit so we wait for the GPS unit to power up and then we go to menu and you want to go down to your track manager press enter and there's our directions right there we click on that we're going to show it on the map and then we're going to quit we can actually view the map of it and then you can see the track there this one is black because I haven't changed the color of it but you can see there there's the line going all the way up there's the state line North Carolina and Virginia you can navigate to the track by pressing go obviously on your GPS unit but you can see the track being drawn there's Winston-Salem there and then the red line going off that's our track that we just made up so there you have it so again that's the easiest way I found to uh, transfer to convert rather a GPS directions Google Maps directions into a GPX files that can then be read or it can be viewed on a GPS unit like this one because I keep my uh, my GPS unit it's for power it's hardwired into my motorcycle I don't use my phone I don't have a separate GPS or anything like that I don't get like the directions through my headset I just use this one because occasionally you get to a place and you'll want to get off the bike and you'll want to just you know take a hike or something so I use a, a handheld GPS and I just transfer all my directions onto that it's easy to follow once you change the color of that I usually change them to the black bold line that way they're easy to see um, and I just follow the track just stay on the line just like that it was one of the things when I did the mid-atlantic backcountry discovery route uh, the the track for the GPX files for the mid-atlantic for the MABDR the MABDR they're everywhere uh, if you don't know it's ridebdr.com is where you can find them um, those are easy to find but getting there I very rarely take the freeway and yeah you can write them down and tape them to your tank and everything like that but I didn't want to do that I wanted them on my GPS so everything I have is like right there uh, and that's like scrambling around trying to figure that out that was the easiest way that was how I figured out how to do it just looking so I hope this saves you if you're planning on doing a, a the Mabder or the Nebder or the Idaho or the Kobder or the Wobder or whichever and you just need to get from your home to the starting point or wherever you're going to start on the thing on the trail the route itself I hope this helps out uh, yeah and uh, good luck and be safe out there especially if you're out in the middle of nowhere on those routes because they can get kind of sketchy or whatever and I will catch you next time on The Sugar Daddy Show.